Sorry for the late video, guys. I finally got an opportunity to react to Creed 3, the official trailer. Now, before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help me out to more subscribers. And if you rock with the video, if you rock with the content, go ahead and give me a like button for the algorithm. I cannot wait to see how this looks. Let's get into this. I spent the last seven years of my life living out my wildest dreams. Bianca. Got a family. My dad. This is built on their shoulders. Wow, all those belts. Hey, my good. man, can I help you? Let me get an autograph. Nah, I ain't signing an autograph. So you get off my car. You don't remember <laughs> me, huh? Oh, that's, um, I can't remember his name. He's from All American, but he's a pretty good actor. Damien. How long were you locked up? 18 years, bro. King the Conqueror. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, due to Marvel movies, it, 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 you can't help but think of certain things, especially with Mark, Michael B. Jordan when he was a human torch. You got Kane the Conqueror here. So you kind of, in your mind, you try to put those things together, even in movies that have nothing to do with that. So I got to I gotta stop thinking like that. Thanks, Marvel. Let's go out last week. Glad to have you back out, huh? I know I've been away a long time, but I kept myself in shape. I still got gas in the tank. Come by the gym. Thank you. Curious what happened with you two? I didn't tell you. We was like brothers. I was the best though. But I never got a chance to prove that. That's cute. Now, is it just me? And this is the last time I'm gonna stop this video, I promise. Uh Jonathan Major is the guy who plays Kane the Conqueror, plays Damien in this film. Vocally, doesn't he sound like Wood Harris? Which Wood Harris is the person who is Creed's uh, boxing coach in this movie. Like just listen to their voice and, and tell me if they show Wood Harris in this or speaking or whatever. I know what you're doing, Donnie. You don't owe this dude nothing. Damien's fighting the world. He's trying to hurt people. I vouch for you. You think you mad? Try spending half your life in a cell. Why can't somebody else live your life? I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? Something is going on with you. Damien was like family. You're like a young Mike Tyson, man. Then maybe you just have to find him. Do what I gotta do. Some of my methods, you might disagree with me. These are family ties. I recognize mine. I know that they needed me. Somatic stress, watch it manifest. Got my only fear. I ain't scared of death. Did you hear me yet? I ain't scared of death. Did you hear me yet? What you gonna do? Threaten to take my breath? I need you to let go of your fear. Let go of the guilt. Let go of whatever was and walk into what is. I fear those chains are breaking, yeah. I fear God, I don't fear death. I see those strengths and take a step. Hey. Wow. This looks good. This looks good. I mean, I like the first Creed a lot. I like the second one. I thought it was pretty cool, but I like the first one better. But I think this one is going to be really, really good, especially with all the symbolism with his friend, Damien. Representing the past, the guilt, um, the uh, survivor's guilt that he's feeling. And it's it's a weird situation because for me, I can understand that perspective because that's something that I go through and I wrestle with a lot. Not necessarily that I'm in this situation as grandiose or rich or anything like that because I don't need monetary things in order to be happy. But the things that I come from and the things that I went through in life and some people who went through those things with me, they're, and not to talk bad about those individuals, but they're in pretty bad situations right now. And also, some people who haven't went through as much as the things I went through in life are in pretty bad situations. Or if not, unfortunately, they're not here anymore. And that's not to uh, diminish what they've gone through. But I I go through that a lot because I think about the fact that I could have stepped in and tried harder. Like, there's a lot of people that I've tried to be like, hey, come over here. Not that I'm like the, the all wise one or that I knew everything. But I was like, you know, I would tell them like, hey, why don't you come over here and, you know, try to do this. And they didn't listen to me. Or I feel like at times that I didn't try hard enough to get them out of that situation to where they could have had a better life to live. So um, I, I, I do wrestle with that. And sometimes people do take advantage of that. And it has happened where people have taken advantage of that and did some pretty crazy stuff that, uh, that I don't want to get into. But I can understand where uh, Adonis is coming from and where that can be bad for you if you allow people to take advantage of that. 
So I think the story here is pretty obvious that, you know, him and his friend Damien went through something in the past with the police or something like that. I don't know if Adonis ran away or if uh, Damien took the fall for him. And obviously Adonis is living a life that, that um, Damien wanted this entire time. I don't know if he wanted to be a boxer or just a life of success that he never got to. And the fact that Damien, I mean, or Adonis forgot all about him makes it even worse. It makes it even worse. But Adonis is like, you know what? I feel bad. I'm sorry. I'm willing to give you an opportunity to box in the gym. Damien has no previous boxing training. So the only way that he learned how to box was in the prison. So every time he fights somebody, he's probably trying to kill people, which probably is going to give flashbacks to uh, Adonis about how his father passed away. You know, uh, I'm sure he watched the videos or whatever the case may be. But I think this is going to be an interesting, interesting storyline and, and a big movie for Jonathan Majors, you know, uh, given that he's going to be Kang the Conqueror or he is Kang the Conqueror in the MCU. So I don't know. I'm very interested. I have a lot of ties to what's going on in here. You know, maybe it's just me. I like Michael B. Jordan as an actor. He's one of my favorites. So I support pretty much everything he does. But anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Are you guys ready for Creed 3? I can't wait. Only part that I'm disappointed in is that I'm hearing that Sylvester Stallone is not in this film. Um, I'm like, dang, can he do like a cameo? Can he do something? You know, but it is what it is. People don't have to do what they don't want to do. So let me know in the comment section what you think. Salute. Peace. Have a good day.